Our approach to patient care is first to be prompt, to try to get patients in as soon as possible. Uh, as a urologist, we see a lot of patients with worries about cancer, or diagnosis of cancer. Um, sometimes it's stressful diagnoses and patients really are anxious about getting an answer, so we try to get them in as promptly as possible. And then, of course, our treatment of patients is individualized based on what they have and what the findings are in the tests we order. Our practice has been in existence since uh, the 60s, and um, we've gone through several generations of physicians, and the group that we have together now has been together for well over 20 years. Um, the, I think it gives stability that we've been here and we will be here in the future, and that in these times of changing medicine, we'll be there for them in times of need. I started out with an intent to be a family doctor, and my first year of medical school, I did a externship at a community hospital, and back in the day, they used to have uh, physician tables at lunchtime. And some physicians said, you know, if I had to do it over again, I would go into urology. I didn't even know what urology was. So when I came back that summer, one of my good friends in medical school, I told him about this urology thing, and he said the same thing happened to him. And I said, okay, well, let's go into urology together. And um, as we, we're both urologists now, it was sort of a, a moment of fate, and yet as we looked into it, um, it both suited us very well. Well, two things. I think um, one is when you have a patient with cancer and you cure them, and you know, you've really changed their mental outlook and their future outlook, you know, that's very rewarding. And in my fertility practice, you know, when you get thank you notes from the wives with the pictures of the kids that were just born, it's very fulfilling.